Animal Crossing has been a franchise around for a long time, but in every game, the multiplayer mode works completely differently. In the original GameCube version, only one player can actually play at a time, though you could still go visit your friend's towns. You would just have to put a second memory card into your GameCube with their save file, travel to the train station, and then you could go visit their town while they were technically not playing. This also introduced the idea of villagers moving from one town to maybe your friend's town. Animal Crossing Wild World was the first game to have like online and wireless capabilities, and you could go and open open up the gates to your town and people could come in and visit in real time and could run around with them and whatnot. It was funny, Booker and Copper got turned into these like gatekeepers. And this whole system would actually stay for city folk as well. New Leaf worked mostly the same except they reintroduced the train system so you actually go to the train station to travel. They also introduced the Dream Suite so you could go and visit kind of like what you could in GameCube if you were alone and the other person wasn't hosting their town. But in New Horizons we get an airport and a plane and even though there aren't runways, fortunately enough it's a seaplane so we're good to go.